you feel it crawling through you? Your bones popping, your flesh swelling. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. A scout just reported the goblin's leadership has been decimated. You'll have to install it, I'm afraid. Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down, but it did juice me up. You took it upon yourself to undertake the right of thorns. I ought to exile you from this place forever. These John, oh, they can, oh, they can. I want that dark amethyst. Why are you so covered in blood, old woman? I'm going to the hag. I owe it to Connor to make things right. Okay, let's just leave these guys. Um, There's just a plate of food here. Why is there just someone's food? Oh, yeah, how are we doing the spells and stuff? Uh, Gale's used a lot. Loving note. A chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. Investigation. Look for anything out of the ordinary. Let's add our bonus guidance. It's a DC 20. But well, we ain't getting there. The place has a quiet sense of calm. You can't see anything strange. Okay. Take a breather, lovelies, and have a bite on me. I... Mmm. be cautious. Let's speak with animals. The sheep's voice warbles. You realize it's trying to say bar. Tell me about this place, sheep. Um Curious. Despite your magic, the creature doesn't understand you. Interesting. A sheep that does not understand me. Really? One DC off? Ugh. Wheezing, the sheep backs away. Wheezing. That was not a sheep. Right, come back. Come here. Go for a good meal. The sheep's voice warbles. You realize the sheep stares at you with unsettling malice. It wasn't a sheep anymore. It was a red cap. No time to rest. Very well. Uh, well. Red caps are like evil. Yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. You blink, and the wilderness changes. A swamp, stinking and insidious, assaults your senses. It's a red cap. Um, like I'd thrown him, he turned back into a thing. He was pretending to be a sheep still, but now, nah. not dealing with this. Hold off on the bardics. And don't worry about non-hostile combat actions. Right, Karlak, what do we got? Red cap, red cap, red cap, uh, blood sage. So, let's we'll deal with the one right in front of us first. Only got one more rage charge. Bloodlust. I wonder if that gives them more attacks. Oh, you're really low on spell slots, aren't you? crit only four damage on the crit though oh whole person okay yeah definitely aim for the blood sages a nasty do the damage this is about to get nasty oh oh my god just crit the wizard right away okay now um Bonus action bardic him because that'll heal him. Plus, hopefully, make it's a little bit better for him. Right. Um, I actually think I'm gonna have to use Carlet Lax Rage. Right, just finish. Oh, I don't get the bonus action this turn. That was a bad move. I don't have a bonus action this turn because I raged. Annoying. Carlac will handle this. Uh Shadow Heart's turn and Gale's turn. Q wins at a level two on Gale. Boom. Bring him back up, although he really shouldn't be on the front line. 
30% chance? Nah, it was worth it. Right, Gail, um, you don't have an action. Here it was me hoping I could bonus action. What's happening to those percentages? I was hoping I could action disengage, but out is straight down again. So much damage. Oh my gosh. Shadowheart just got knocked prone? What? What even was that? Okay, uh, these red caps are in on it right now. Red caps, if I remember correctly, are fey. Therefore, sleep will not work on them. I think it's time to bosh out some spells. He metal isn't really going to be helpful. Good. Get that thing the fuck away from me. Smack. Athletic successful, but it didn't go anywhere. All right, Gale failed, failed a death save. Shadowheart is up. Yeah, I'm so glad Karlak is raging because otherwise that would have been nasty. Right, we do need to get a... Let's get a bonus action healing word on Gale this turn just so he doesn't die, die. And... Stab. Boom! Fantastic turn. I didn't realize she had a, didn't have a great weapon master feat. Slapped on there. You were blessed by something? Again, you've only got a bonus action. Drink a potion. It's just going to have to be a bullet sponge the entirety of today. Need to disseminate some of those potions of healing that um, Gale is carrying because he's just made a load. Good. Killed that one. I was going to say, come on, come on now. Whole person on Artlock, kind of fine. This one's not going to be around for much longer. Downed one, just finish it off. And bonk! This place is not good for us. You know, I've been catching myself smiling more lately. I think that's your fault. <laughs> I, you and I, we share something special, I think. And I want to talk about it. Very serious of you. But go ahead. Admit it, you've never had a relationship quite like the one we have, have you? Even if I could remember, I'm not sure I'd tell you. I don't want your ego to get overinflated. Ooh. That sounds pretty... Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, my heteronormative relationship sounds pretty yay. Let's quickly... Quick word. An adult frog. Bring leaves, shallow water. Bring leaves, shallow water. What are you croaking on about? Bring leaves, shallow water. Oh. A chill runs up your spine. There is something wrong with this creature. Very wrong. Burn. Bleed. Kill. What's wrong? What is it? Okay, Sam, so sure I should go. Green leaves, shallow water. Green leaves, shallow water. What's inside? Hmm. Well, that was going to be much more difficult to deal with. Yeah, this place ain't nice. Right, should we go talk to the hag? Party is going for a short rest, and Gale. Reclaim some spell slots, please. All right, hag. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite and this pie is going to come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. Oh, if it isn't my hero. You talk ages. Come in, come in. Feel free to relax yourself and have a cuppa. Hmm? So, if anyone's not, not aware... Have me patience. Eat up, Mayrina. I won't say it again. So, do you know how hags reproduce in D&D &D lore? So, hags impregnate someone and then let them let them go, sort of thing. Eventually, the child 
will be born, and then when it reaches a certain age, it will either kill its entire family, or it will produce like a clone of itself that's dead, and run away to join its coven. Something along those lines. I can't remember. It's bad. That's Marianne. I have some bad news for her. Keep that hole under your nose shut, or things will get messy. You know what that sounds like to me? Leverage. What is it? What's going on? I thought your brothers, but I didn't kill them. Only not what? now. No! Dead! Everyone's dead! I didn't say that. Such dramatics. I just said I knocked what? them out. No! Dead! Everyone's dead! All right, calm down! Dramatics. Enough, away with you. Uh, what? Blessed silence at last. Some time in the cage should do her good. And you, you'll regret sticking your nose in my business. All right. Are you just got a full-on hag in front of us? All right. Hello, Auntie Ethel. Oh, we are just going straight for the combat. All right. I should have saved before coming in here. Ah, oh, she went straight invisible. <laughs> yes. So if you take damage when you're invisible, you become not invisible anymore. So f you, Auntie Ethel. Protection versus good and evil is a good idea right now. Because I believe they count as fey. Oh my god, that's just this laughter worked. That's amazing. She's gonna take damage from the fire anyway, so she's gonna get up. You've got nothing to dip. Okay. Fake illusion. Where are you running? You are as thick as they come. Sweetness. This is my personal playhouse, and you don't have an invite. Get out! Tell me where Marianne is. Wriggler, eaten your brain already. Leave. Oh, you'll end up in tonight's stew. We'll go nicely with Marina. She's already marinating. <laughs> no, no, don't look. Mustn't look. Mustn't see. Are you right? I see it. What's to come? You realize there's magic at work. Some type of spell. An illusion. Me. Dead. Dead. Flesh rotten, bone shining. Oh. Tell yourself whatever you're seeing isn't real. Lies. Lies. I see it. See truth. See death. All future. Is that so? And what does my future hold? Always asked. Never good. Never see. Never. Gods, don't hurt me. Oh, please. Please. Please, please, please. Why would I hurt you? Monster. Monster. For mind dripping. Flesh peeling. Mind flayer. Oh, right. Do we have cure curse? No intention of letting that happen. Stop. Please. Hourglass. Please. The door. You feel crushing waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils. You can't let people through. Not again. What happened last time you opened? Images flash. A man cowering. A bag open at his feet. Gold coins spilling onto the floor. His what on earth is going on here? Short as the hag slices into him, dismembering oh, him painstakingly, that's an arm. limb by limb. She cackles. The man's remaining flesh, twisted and contorted. Oh. Becoming the twisted surface of the door before you. Flee, you feel it cry. I'm afraid of the hag. A scene appears in your mind. Two paladins and a cleric marching through the door, shrouded in the glow of the divine. 
Weapons brandished, they charge into the hag's lair. Screams of terror pierce the air. You let them in? Nobody. That's a decade for each. You're mine for 30 more years, Petal. Freaking creepy, isn't it? Right, is there another way in? An image of blue skies and sunshine as the door shudders a warning. Run. Its form flickers, and you realize that the door is transparent. If I kill the hag, you'll be free. Okay. Oh, that was close. Only a 13. You see the hag. She walks through the door, its form shimmering. Not a door. The lightest touch of hope brushes your mind as the presence within retreats. I don't know if I need to do anything else to save the others. There's a lot of stuff in here and I think I'm going to deal with them. I think I need to try and deal with them after. I'm not confident about doing this without a rest. Also, the quick saves aren't working. Where are you? Yeah, f your illusion. Oh, oh, this is a combat. Yeah, my F5 key wasn't working. Okay, uh... It's good, considering that was at disadvantage. Oh, Carlac. Like. Heck yeah, Carlac, like. well done. Ag's pawn. Is the spell they used on me? Curse of Regret. It's not a fun condition. Okay. Go for the flourish. Off balance is helpful. What the f <laughs> They can reaction hit me. Okay. It's a potent, potent hit. Okay. You are doing the big thing. Go and smack him. Oh my god, it's every hit. How do you have more than one reaction a turn? Oh shit, I should go for non-lethal on these because I think I can remove the masks from them. It kills them. Really? Okay, then we won't try and save them. I can't save them, apparently. They all dead dead? No. Get back up. Fuck in hell. These guys are no chill. Um, 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 I don't have the ability to continue through. Right. Ugh. Perception chat failed. What did I fail? Over there's just more fucking traps. You come to my home, interfere in my business, and when you're the one that attacked me. To face me in the heart of my lair, you petulant bollocks! I'll rip your spine out your asshole. I'll use your blood to spice my stew. I'll keep you alive until I've sucked the marrow from your bones. And then I'll bring you back and do it all over again. Just get out of here, please. No, I'm coming to rescue you. Right. Okay, uh, that's a problem. What the, what the, what, 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 no, what? Why is she, why is there like five of her? Dale's already like f***ed up as well. Like what the f*** happened to him? Poisoned. Okay, if you're about to go the f*** down. Right, which one do we think's the real hag? She knew what, Gale? Survivability. Hopefully you become a bit more of a target. Got no rage. How do I stop the cage from burning? Uh, maybe, I will, maybe I can throw a bottle of water. That'd be a next turn thing, I think. Christ, I don't have to beat all of these. I've just got to beat whatever one's the real <laughs> hag, and I don't know which one the real <laughs> hag is. I think it's that one. 
No. Okay, no. They are all hags. Because that's a second... That's three used... Four spellcasters. There's four spellcasters with 100 plus HP. I can't do this right now. Yeet! <laughs> right, it's not that one. Time to play Operation Yeet the Ball. Right, next turn, you'll be able to uh, create water. You know what? Pop a potion. Back of opportunity. Okay, that one wasn't real either. Great water. Move and a half, Gale. Move and a half. No, I'm not leaving you here, you silly. Right, that's the real one. That's the real one. That's the real one. Oh. Duplicate out here. Ow. For such a low roll for a searing smite. Oh, oh, what are we doing? Good hit. Not quite in range. Um, I'm happy keeping you out of range. That's fine. Oh, 20. Fantastic. Awesome. I'm going to panic eat some chips right now. Oh. Should just turn himself invisible. What well, I wouldn't give for a spell slot right now. I think it's better you try and get rid of the e extra anti Ethel. Oh! That's a stupidly good hit. Karlak, you're an absolute goddess. Yes! You busted! You ruined it! You ruined everything! Sorry, what? <laughs> Sorry, what did I do? Ethel was going to bring my husband back. Back from the dead. And now I'll never see him again. Because of you! Hags don't work for free. What did you promise her? This. Just a bit longer and my child would have been born. And all this. All this would have been over. With Hags, nothing is ever over. This was the best chance I had. For me and my baby. Auntie Ethel promised to give this child a good life. Teach them magic even. More than I could have done. From what I've seen, you'd make a terrible mother. I mean, for not wrong. Is that what Ethel told you? She said I'd make a bad mother. I... I think she was right. Now I'll have to drag Connor's coffin all the way home. It's the only way this child will ever meet their father. I hope you're happy. Please don't go that way. Did she just walk towards the poison? Wait, 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 what? Oh, the poison's gone. I killed the hag for sure. This place is nice. You ever seeing eye? Protection from good and evil. A pale green eye that's pierced and twisted due to the result of a foolhardy woman... Begging auntie for a favor. Letter to Ethel. Letter from Ethel. I've heard business has been slow. Rest assured, I have a job for you. Oh, is M the person that's been taking kids? And stuff. Heart of stone. Catering will. Broken promise. Lost time. I wonder if I can heal the people upstairs with these. This looks like a uh, direct way to the Feywild right here. Um, Well. Oh. Oh, it's a fast way out. Hey. Gods, didn't hear you coming. I know I should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. The thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. Look, love, I found this wand. I think I can resurrect your husband. What? You can? I don't know if this is going to end well. Surge of power from the wand. The air suddenly tastes acrid. It wants to be used. Bring it back. Bring Connor back. Please. Oh, I don't know if this is an idea. Oh, I don't know if this is a good idea. Oh, no.
Bro, he was dead a while. The creature yearns for a master. Oh. So the hag fulfills her promise. It can never be simple, can it? But this isn't what she promised. I wanted him back. Back the way he was. Not this. You can always bury him again. No. Don't put him in the ground. No. She's annoying. He is afraid of the dark. Oh. I'll do it. I'll take him. Okay. Are you sure you want to do this? I promised him I'd fix this. And I'm gonna. Maybe, maybe someone in Baldur's Gate can help us. So 100% oh, this this lady is carrying a hag spawn and has a zombie oh, husband. This is... Let's, let's go. What? Nasty way to go. Right, I can actually loot this properly. Butter burn, butter burn. Grab her, grab all of our EF Force butter burns. More pies, more hot pies, more hot pies, more hot pies. Not the spoiled treacle tart. Back down the wooden stairs. Let's see if we can sort anything down down here. All right, can we fix these things? Why can we still hear the... Oh, oh my head. Oh no, no. Why ain't I petrified? The hang is dead. What? How? How am I still breathing? I have the bite. What is the bite exactly? I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Your insides end up on the outside. Petrification stops the spread. I was on death's door. But now I feel... I feel great. Tails, hags always cook up the victim's misery first, then sell them false hopes. But why? Bloody hells! Double crossing, filthy lying wretch! She made me sick and then trapped me in stone for kicks! How long were you trapped like this? I don't know. Days, years. My kids were only babes when I left. The stones know how old they are now. Hopefully they've grown. Children are disgusting. <laughs> Focus on the positives and now at least you'll see them again. Only because of you. I... I ain't got no way to repay you. Don't worry. I didn't help just to get a reward. No. What you've done for me and mine today won't be forgotten. Thank you. Is the hat gone? God, tell me she's gone. Oh, please. She's dead. You're safe now. May she burn in the nine hells. The hag. There's never been a more vile creature. The things she did to me. We did this on such low spell slots. I'm so amazed. Why were you even here? I was a fool. I wanted to know my fate. I had a choice between two lives and I was frightened of choosing wrong. I asked the hag to help me see what the future would hold got what I wished for too. I saw my future self, a corpse, rotten with maggots, and everyone around me dead, putrid and dead. What were the two lives? A boring story, stay or go, marriage and kids, or a life of novelty. I lost my best years rather than just choose. Maybe we can, and be careful. Yes, I will. Thank you. You're welcome. I know how I could have kept these guys alive. <laughs> if I just knocked them out, then killed Auntie Ethel, these guys would still be alive because I'd be able to take the mask off, perhaps? Let's rest. Ah, oh, my good fellow. Quite the cosy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. 
Oh no. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic after all. Nope. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. I'd rather get a second opinion. Find a more learned opinion on this matter, I assure you. No, thank you. No. Okay. Managed to throw him off. You only have a matter of days to live. All right, Gale. Extract all ingredients. Crafting two potions of fire resistance sounds like a real good idea. Let's talk to everyone. Let's just do a round of chatting. Speak. Anything new with you? No. What about my love? Shadow Heart? Well, my day just improved. Did you want something? Ooh. Very serious of you. How are you faring? It's strange. I've been dwelling on what I told you before about wanting to become a Dark Justicia. But perhaps I should be content with my lot. I'm already blessed to have you at my side after all. All right, let's rest. I don't think I... There might be a different conversation now it's night. Just like slightly glowing. <laughs> So, that's what people mean when they talk about butterflies in their stomach. Oh, Shadowheart, if only you knew. Awesome. I can't, I can't, there's no extra conversation there, okay. Can't like anything Soldier. you want to say? This isn't where I thought we'd end up, how about you? <laughs> Funny you should ask. I was just thinking about what would have become of us without that Nautiloid. I mean, I know where I'd be. Trapped in Avernus still, with the Blade of Frontiers on my tail. But what about you? So much has happened, I can barely remember what life was like before the abduction. Thank you. Sometimes I think I'd be better off indulging in a bit of light oblivion. Well, we may as well make some good memories mixed in with the body horror, huh? <laughs> this is a good, such a good outlook on everything. Um, oh no, Gail wasn't. Oh, okay, let's talk to Gail. Even in such fraught times as these. There's peace to be found in the stillness as evening draws in. I used to while away many hours just like these with my companion. I'm in far comfier surrounds. She preferred it when we were alone. Curled up before a crackling hearth with some ancient esoteric tome between us. Ink glinting in the firelight. <laughs> Are you talking about your cat? By a Geron's lost nose! No! Tara is not any cat. She's a Tressum. And given your confusion, I'm guessing you've never met one. They're brilliant creatures. Fine company for any self-respecting wizard. She'd be proud to see me keeping such fine company. The saviour of those poor tieflings, no less. And I've given her precious little to be proud of recently. After I was afflicted with my condition, I locked myself in my tower for an entire year. Inconsolable, wallowing in my self-inflicted tragedy. I've given up on myself, but Tara never did. It was her encouragement, her research that led me to my treatment. Once we knew that magically infused items were the key, she went out to find them for me. She saved my life. She has a good heart. You should recognize the same in your actions here. I'm sure she'd approve of me lending myself to your efforts. She must be very smart to have done all that. Smart does her a disservice. She's a fine wizard in her own right, though somewhat held back by her lack of opposable thumbs. You remind me of her somewhat. There's a steeliness in you. An unwavering tenacity, even in the face of, to be frank, quite dire odds. Wish she were here for me to make a formal introduction. But I would never ask her to undertake such a journey. She's safer at home. Besides, she was always telling me I needed to spread my wings, so to speak. Find mortal friends instead of hanging onto Mistress' coattails. So that's what I'm doing. I hope. Oh, Dale. Bad luck on that front. I'm actually a nymph in disguise. <laughs> what if she doesn't like me? Oh, she'll love you. So long as you don't rub her belly. She hates it when anyone does that. <laughs> Do you like having your belly rubbed? Pleasures I experienced in Mistress Embrace go far beyond the thrill of having one's tummy tickled. I remember once she took the smallest piece of the weave and made it into... Wait, are you saying... I see. Then perhaps we see each other in the same light after all. A resplendent one, flush with... I was just making a cat joke. 
but one which I must shy away from, for now. With my condition as volatile as it is, I fear any undue excitement. That's not what I was going for, Gaia. So to speak. Go. Enjoy your evening. Nothing better for the heart than a good night's rest. And mine is gladdened to know I'll have the pleasure of your company again come morning. Not what I meant, Gail. I was just trying to be nice. You know what? I'm okay with it being 44. Ah, yes. The tea pose to sleep. I promised I'd be back. Oh. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. You haven't been using the parasite's power. You think you don't need it. But things haven't gone as you expected. You hoped a druid as powerful as Halsin might be able to remove your tadpole. But he couldn't. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. Where should I be looking? Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. You were lucky that Halsin knew this. His instincts are right. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. How do I destroy the source of the tadpole's magic? I am not sure yet. To find the answers, we must first find the source. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear Authority. the voice of the Absolute and believe it to be a god. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank. See, my theory is that this is my tadpole. Just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be mind flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. So who are you? It's complicated. But I'm an adventurer. Just like you. Just like you. I was infected with a mind flayer parasite. Just like you. I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. I'm really upset if this is a tadpole. Because I made her disgustingly hot. <laughs> and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. Is there anything I can do to help? No. I can handle this. For now. The power I used to protect you, I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. I really don't want to give in to the powers. Go. Our freedom depends on it. Well, wasn't that fantastic? You've been watching the Modge channel, the infamous second channel of the Mitch Man Network. Thank you to our editing team for creating this video. And if you haven't already, make sure you follow Mitch Man on all his social media. I have been Modge, and I'll see you next time.